To fully understand Grand Seiko and how it's become the watch enthusiast's most beloved brand, some even prefer the brand over some of the most popular watches out of Switzerland, such as Rolex. We need to take a brief look at how Grand Seiko and the spring drive movement were developed, and we also need to take a brief look at their history. Mr. Kintaro Hattori founded Seikosha back in 1881 in Tokyo around the Ginza area. Seikosha by definition means the house of exquisite workmanship. So it's been very clear that the vision of Mr. Hattori from the very beginning was to create some of the best work coming out of the house of Seiko. In the year 1913, Seiko released their first wristwatch under the name Laurel which was ahead of its time considering that Swiss watch brands were still focused on pocket watches at that time. Fast forward to 1924, the first wrist watch to carry the Seiko name was introduced. That led Seiko to build a second factory in 1937 called Dani Sekosha. In 1959, the Sua and Dani factories became separate entities to encourage company competition and innovation, which eventually led Sua to create Grand Seiko. And in response, the Dani factory created King Seiko to rival Sua. The competition led both companies to create some of the best watches ever made out of Japan. Safe to say, Grand Seiko still creates some of the finest timepieces to this day, as presented here with the Grand Seiko Baby Blue Snowflake. The reference we're taking a look at is the SBGA 407. This watch has everything you would ever want in a Grand Seiko. That beautiful snow-like dial, to the mirror finish of the case, also known as Zeratsu polishing, and finally the spring drive movement with the smoothest second hand you will ever see on a watch. The snow-like dial is probably the reason you would add this piece to your collection. It's a work of art. It's safe to say that the snowflake is Grand Seiko's icon and adding a touch of blue made it even more mesmerizing. And for those who wanted a snowflake in a smaller variant, this watch comes in at 40.3 millimeters with a thickness of approximately 12 millimeters. The watch wears magnificently on my wrist, and as you guys can see here in the footage, regardless what you wear it with, with a suit or a t-shirt, this watch will look incredible regardless how you dress it. That blue dial is a lot more versatile than it seems, and it works with any attire in my opinion. Now, allow me to try and explain what spring drive is. Spring drive, for those of you who don't know, is a movement that has a 72 hour power reserve and that's approximately 3 days and has an accuracy of plus or minus 1 second per day. Spring drive uses a mainspring, a barrel, an automatic winder and a winding stem to store the energy. Now the conventional escapement is replaced with a device that Seiko actually calls the trisynchro regulator. It's used to regulate the unwinding of the mainspring. Now, the energy produced by the glide wheel is used to power a control circuit and quartz crystal oscillator. So, spring drive in a nutshell is a mechanical and quartz hybrid, so you could get the best of both worlds. A mechanical watch with quartz-like accuracy. Now, as with all of my reviews, I always answer one question from you guys and I post a picture before every review, so make sure you have that notification button on so you don't miss it. Today's question comes from Leia Y. How does its special blue dial speak in different lighting? So I found this watch to be pretty consistent with the kind of different lighting, but obviously in darker settings, the dial kind of changes to a bit darker, but it still maintains that baby blue snowflake dial. It doesn't change to a white or anything, which I actually prefer because it keeps that really cool blue snowflake dial. In association with Orlando Watch Company, I would first like to thank them for making this review possible. Orlando Watch Company was started by Mr. Scott Heisler, a graduate watchmaker. Mr. Heisler graduated watchmaking school in 1981 and soon afterwards became a Rolex, Breitling and Omega train technician. Orlando Watch Company is a full service watch repair, appraisal and retail store. So if you're ever in the Orlando area and love watches, make sure you check them out. They have over 80 brands vintage and modern and if you ever need to service your watch, this is where I would personally recommend. They're located in Winter Park and they will have a grand opening for the new store in September 13. Make sure you stop by to check it out. I will also be attending at that time.